Here around the world in 80 days, Scottish cyclist and adventurer Mark Beermont broke the Guinness World Record by circumnavigating the globe in under 80 days. This incredible feat was captured and shared with the world by South African sports production agency Moon Sport. The previous record was held by New Zealander Andrew Nicholson, who managed the feat then in 123 days. My biggest dream. I've been building towards this since I was a 12-year-old boy. I'm going to cycle around the world in 80 days, from Paris, around the planet, 18,000 miles. This is a massive undertaking, and I'll be doing it in four stages. First, from Paris, through Europe, Russia, Mongolia, all the way to Beijing and China. Then it's across Australasia. After that, across North America, from Anchorage to Halifax. And the final stage will be Lisbon, through Madrid, and all the way over the Pyrenees to Paris. A total of 18,000 miles across the globe. For Beaumont, it was the test of ultimate endurance, both physically and mentally. Two weeks into the challenge, and in the city of Moscow, with a population of 50 million, lots of trucks and busy roads provided obstacles. Beaumont hit a deep pothole, which threw him over the bike and left him badly injured. The critical thing for Beaumont was to stick to his pace through rain and cold and many punctures. Lack of sleep was an issue, getting up at half past three in the morning to start cycling at four. I'm feeling it 13, 14, 15 hours into a day. It hurts. It really hurts. But there's nothing which stops me riding the bike and keeping the wheels turning. Mentally, I can keep going. So physically, I can keep going. He faced extreme highs and lows, being fragile and also hit rock bottom with a continuous challenge, committing to not stopping. The Moon Sport crew was also committed to 80 days non-stop, 16 hours a day of work in very challenging conditions to document the feat. Beaumont circumnavigated the world by bicycle in 78 days, 14 hours and 40 minutes. He used the journey to raise funds for Orchid Studio, a charity dedicated to uplifting communities through innovative architecture and construction, such as the Shabindu Hospital in northern Zambia. Craig Murray, SABC News, Cape Town.